In a previous lesson, we briefly spoke about the Quick Access Toolbar. And just a reminder, in case you've forgotten, you'll find the Quick Access Toolbar lurking underneath your ribbons. It's this little thing here where we can see Auto Save, Save, Undo and Redo icons. Now, as I mentioned, this is an area that we can customize. So this is brilliant if you have commands that you use frequently and you don't want to have to hunt through the ribbons in order to find them because we can customize this with whatever commands we like to make them easily accessible. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the different methods you can use to add commands to your quick access toolbar, and then I'll leave it to you to customize your own. Now, by default, you're always going to have auto save, save, undo and redo on your quick access toolbar. So if you launch Excel straight out of the box, this is what you're going to see. But of course, we can add to that. And the simplest way to add any command to the Quick Access Toolbar is to find the command on the ribbon. For example, let's say that I always use bold font formatting. Right click on the command and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. As soon as I click that, you can see there it is, easily accessible. Maybe I want to add something else. Let's go across to the Data tab. Maybe I'm always sorting data. So I'm going to right click on custom sort and choose add to quick access toolbar. And there it is. So we can build up a long list of commands that we use frequently. So I'm just going to add a few onto here. Now, aside from adding commands that way, notice that at the end of the quick access toolbar, we have this little drop down arrow. When we hover over it, it says customize quick access toolbar. So when we click this, it's going to pop open a menu and notice in here we have 20 or so commonly used commands. So these are the commands that Microsoft think will be most useful to you to add to the quick access toolbar. Now, the ones that we already have added have a tick next to them, but we could add any of these others simply by selecting them. So yeah, I'm always spell checking my spreadsheets. So maybe I want to add spelling. Maybe I want to add quick print. Maybe I want to add new. So that is another way that you can add your commands. Incidentally, if you want to remove commands from the Quick Access Toolbar, you can simply right click and choose remove. Or alternatively, if you've added them via this method, you can just deselect them from the list. Now, it's worth noting that not all commands in Excel are available on these ribbons. There are many other commands that kind of lurk in the background, which aren't as accessible as others. It also might be that you want to add a specific command to the quick access toolbar, but you can't actually find it on the ribbon. If that is the case, what I would recommend is that you click this drop down and go to more commands just here. What that's going to do is it's going to jump you across to Excel options. And again, this is an area that we'll look at a bit later on and straight to the quick access toolbar section. Because what we can do from here is pull up a list of all commands available in Excel and add them to the Quick Access Toolbar that way. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. So on the right hand side, this is where we can see the commands that we currently have on the quick access toolbar. And you can see all of the ones that I've just added. And then on the left hand side, this is where we can choose commands to add to the quick access toolbar divided down by category. So currently I'm displaying in this list all of the most popular commands. But if I want to see everything, I could click the drop down and choose all commands. And then I get a list of absolutely everything that's available in Excel. And fortunately, these are listed alphabetically. So if you're looking for something specific, it makes it a little bit easier to find. So maybe I want to add, let's add some alignment options. I would just select the command and click on the add button in the middle to put it over on the quick access toolbar. So I'm going to add a few. Let's just add a few alignment commands like so. Really nice and simple. Similarly, if you want to remove items from the quick access toolbar, you can select. So let's go for convert text to table and click on remove. 
And also when you're working in this view, it's very simple to rearrange or reorder our commands. If I want flash fill to be further up the top, I can simply click the up arrow to the right hand side to move it, or I can move it back down again. And the final thing that's quite useful in here is that we can give our quick access toolbar a little bit of structure by adding separators. Now I already have two separators on my quick access toolbar and you can see them just here. It's these lines. So these serve as a visual way of grouping together commands of similar type. And what you'll find is if you want to add a separator, if you scroll up to the top of any of these lists, you'll have the option to add a separator. So if I add a couple into here, I can then arrange them how I want them to be arranged. So I'm going to grab this separator. I'm going to move it down because I want undo and redo to be grouped together. I'm going to grab this separator and I'm going to move it up because I want to separate my formatting from my sorting and filtering. And maybe I want to take this separator and place it just there so that all of my alignment options are grouped together. So how you arrange these is very much personal preference. Let's click on OK and it's going to rejig our quick access toolbar and you can see that that now looks a little bit more organized. The final point to mention here about the quick access toolbar is that you can change its position. So mine is currently underneath my ribbons, but if you don't like it there, you can choose to display it above your ribbons as well. If we click the drop down again, notice that we can show above the ribbon and it's going to put the quick access toolbar up here. Now it's not my preference to have it up there because I tend to forget it's up there when it's shoved in the corner like that. So I like to have mine shown below the ribbon. And if you don't like the quick access toolbar at all and you think you're never going to use it, you can simply turn it off by choosing hide quick access toolbar. It gets rid of it and you get a little bit more screen space back. If you want to get it back, if you cast your eyes all the way over to the right hand side, notice on the ribbons we have this drop down arrow that says ribbon display options. If I click this, this is how I can bring back the quick access toolbar. So this is a super useful way of customizing your copy of Excel. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.